they're gonna get keep stuck into the mic. I think most people when I start talking after I sing, they're like, what in the name of God's happening? You're on. I know. It's a bit of a weird situation. I suppose it's like when you see David Beckham with all the tattoos and he's like, yeah, that's it, yeah. We're like, oh. that's me. That is me. I sing like, oh, and then I'm like, hi, I'm Myra. It's so weird. My mom's always like, oh, here's your one going again. So sorry about that. You're going to have to put up with them. Sorry. I think my dad thinks there's something wrong with me, but sure there probably is. Probably something wrong with all of us. They're the best kind anyway. Um, I'm going to be belting out some of my songs for you tonight, literally belting out, you'll see that I get angry singing most of my songs that I write about. So normally about the exes, so God bless them. Um, they're going to get a good few mentions. I was like, don't cheat if you don't want to be on the album, lads. Sorry about that. So they're here in spirit. Um, anyway, I'm not going to sing about them next, I'm going to sing about my mom, who I love to death. She's like a little Polly Pocket, she's like a tiny, tiny version of me. And you do not mess with that woman, oh my God, she that I did. So um, when I was growing up, I used to actually get bullied quite a bit about my voice being very loud. I was told I'd never actually sing and I'd just be singing in football stadiums and that's the kind of voice I had. And I was like, right, okay, grand. And I like wearing things that are a bit unusual, as you can probably tell, this outfit is like thrown together and I just love being a bit weird. So um, I used to get a lot of stick for it in school and I really, I suppose I went into a shell for a long, long time. So I was scared to kind of be the true me that I really wanted to be because people were always mocking me, be like, are you okay? Who do you think you are, kind of vibes. So my mom said to me one day, she's like, you know what? You're a miserable girl. She's like, and the only way you can be happy is just being you, being unapologetic you, because you never have to apologize for being your true, true self, or like, your true weirdo, let her out. Let the weirdo inside you out. And I was like, yeah, ma'am, I will. So I did. Yeah. Go on, ma'am. 10 out of 10 for that. She was great, though. She was, and um, she's weird herself anyway. And, um, I just really took it to heart, I really did, and I was like, she's so right about that, like about just, if you are you, you just, that's it, life is just going to be happy for you for the rest of your life, and if people don't like it, then that's fine, not everyone has to like you anyway, it's grand by me. So that is a bit of advice I took from her, and I wrote this song called Mother, which when my dad hears it, he's like, she's on about her mom again, I'm like, well, you divorced her, there's nothing to do with me, sorry about that, dad, <laughs> off we go. So, it's called Mother, and I love it. <laughs> 